All right, I'm going to teach you how to prepare a badass salmon. This salmon is going to be steamed, and uh, as you can see here in front of me, I've got all the ingredients that I'm going to be using. And the first thing I want to do is start chopping into them vegetables, and then uh, we'll tear right into it. All right, let's break it down here. I chopped everything up between the break. I've uh, just taken a little bit of a portion from the uh, bell peppers. I'm not using the whole thing. Okay about a quarter of each one and you can see my slab of salmon here isn't that big here's my hand okay just one portion and uh, I've got uh, red green bell pepper I've got some uh, white onion got some fresh parsley that I just chopped up I decided to add some tomato we'll be adding cold tomato there at the end mozzarella cheese got the garlic butter the salmon vinegar and of course the salmon and the first thing we want to tear into now is getting the skin off of the salmon and I'll show you a little trade secret to doing that here now. Okay, hot pan. Olive oil. And you only need enough to just kind of coat the bottom here real quick. And then you're going to put your salmon skin down. For only about 15 seconds here. What that does is it heats it up enough there and separates the skin, and then we'll be able to remove it here on this plate. Now watch very carefully, folks. This is where the secret is. 15 seconds of that, and you can grab that skin and pull it off like magic. No big deal. Now back to the counter with the salmon. We're going to slice it open and stuff it with garlic. As you can see here, I've already gotten into stuff on it here. It's really simple. All you do is take your knife and you go diagonally at a 45. I made three slits across here and I just filled it with about a clove's worth each pocket of butter. You don't want to cut all the way through there. You want to keep this as a whole piece. So do not slice all the way through that salmon. And then all you do after the garlic's in there, you just put that little sliver, as you can see it's a sliver, of butter right in the pocket. And then we'll take this over to the stove here with the uh, vegetables and get the vegetables going. All right, vegetables first. Start out with about half a cube of butter. We like butter on our fish, don't we? Oh, yeah. Okay, uh, finish off the wine, which isn't much. About a third of a cup white wine. And I always use something that I would drink. That's the secret. Get that melted in there. And just take a minute here. See butter melted. Vegetables. Give it a good stir. Get it incorporated. Now we're not going to saute these. We're not going to take the time to do it. Not a big deal that way. But we do want it positioned here so we can put the salmon right over the top of the bed. Just like so. Lay your salmon right down the center, just like that. And now you want to throw a lid on it, which I've got behind me here. And you're going to steam this bad boy for about seven minutes. In the meantime, you want to have your uh, oven going. I've got it set here for broil. This is now a good time for you to set it while this cooks. Okay, just checking it here. I'm going to throw down a little bit of seasoning, which is real simple. Salt, pepper, and if you like a little more kick, and I do, I just go a little bit here with the uh, cayenne. No big deal. And back on with the lid. Still got about another five minutes to go here. All right, it's time to check on it. Uh-huh. Didn't I tell you that's the way to go? Just like that. Now, I should have told you I had it on uh, medium heat. That's it. That's all. Medium heat, seven minutes. Now it's time to transfer this to the plate, to the broiler. 
And now it's real easy to do. All I did was slide everything straight off that pan into this dish here. Now, this is going to sound crazy, a little bit whack to a lot of people because a lot of individuals disagree with this. They don't think it's the way to go. If you want to eat it like this, go for it. It's done. Mwah. Magnifique. Otherwise, you go with the mozzarella cheese over the top of this bad boy and don't even be sparingly about it. I mean, just kick it on there. Okay? A little bit of fresh parsley. Like so. And this is something I like to do just for myself. Bacon bits. Oh, do they make it good? Okay? Now, here's where the broil comes in. You just want it under the broiler just to melt the cheese and put a nice color on it. It's not to cook the fish. Just a couple minutes, if that. All right, let's check on it. Like I said, it only takes a couple minutes, if that. Just get some color on it, get it all melted. Get it to look real nice and pretty. And as you can see, it doesn't get much prettier than that. That's my salmon, folks. Now let's throw it down with a little bit of balsamic vinegar and serve her up. Okay, here's where that cold tomato comes into play. I told you about it here before. Throw a little bit of cold tomato over the top of it because it's just refreshing. And then here's the balsamic vinegar. Just a splash here and there. Sweet. It's the goods. And there you have it. My badass salmon from the poor man's gourmet kitchen.